All right, sir. So everyone is very excited. Uh, some parks reopening on what's supposed to be a beautiful weekend. What are the ways that we don't blow this? You know, how to, not, not to blow it. It's very easy. You know, we're highly rec recommending face masks. You have to social distance. Okay. We would like to see if you could wear gloves, wear gloves. It's always helpful. Sanitizer you should always have on you. Uh, and just abide by the rules. You know, this is not over with yet. You know, we're at halftime right now here in New Jersey. New Jersey and New York were hot points with this virus. Listen, I caught mine from being outside. So I know how important it is to be protected. And the face mask will protect you. And the dis social distance will protect you. So I know and some I people for... out, out there still question, you know, okay, well, the governor, we've heard you say uh, face coverings are recommended but we're outside. What do you say to that? Well, let's, let's, listen, you're outside, all right, and you have uh, these droplets that when you're walking, and you don't know that you're doing it, but you will be doing it, and by doing that, it could affect someone else, all right, and that's what the big thing with the face covering is. Listen, no matter where you go, our life, our, our, our world has changed, you know, it's a new world, you know, so we got to go by the rules, and this is going to be the first amendment. But guess what? People will adapt to it. But people in New Jersey, and especially in Escott, have been doing a great job following the rules, staying in, okay? Now it's an opportunity for us to be able to enjoy the parks. I want them to have fun. I want them to enjoy it. Listen, because me being in my house, it was like being in jail. You know, now it's a time to be able to get out. People want to enjoy themselves. But they also have to know we're still in the middle of this. And New Jersey still has the very serious problems. And if we don't follow the rules, either I will close them back or the governor will come in and say, that's it. There'll be no state parks open, no county parks. Because I had a conversation with him yesterday, and it's exactly what he said to me. We're giving this an opportunity. We need our residents to follow the rules. This is a test, absolutely. Um, and, you know, it was announced that you had battled covid and did you say that you believe you caught it while being outdoors? Yes, yes, that's where I believe that I got I caught it was outdoors. You know, I'm always out in the parks, I'm all over the place, I'm always looking at different projects, and there's no question that I got it from being from outside. Now, when people do go to the parks on this beautiful weekend, should they expect access to bathrooms and usual facilities within the parks? No, there'd be no bathrooms. Okay, we will have Porter Johns there. The playgrounds will be closed, locked. Uh, the basketball courts will be, not be able to participate. Tennis courts, the same thing. It's just for passive recreation. Go there, walk, and enjoy yourself. Uh, and that's the way it is right now at this particular time. As things get better, maybe we'll open up uh, even more of the park. So other than face coverings, what would you recommend people bring with them, even like in a, in a little go bag this weekend when they go out? Listen, listen, gloves and sanitizers. All right. And making sure that they're social distance, make sure that they're, they, they're six feet away from the next person. But that's a very important. All right. To make sure that, you know, uh, but if they're not, they're going to have to wear a face uh, cover. Do you think Murphy is really serious about pulling the plug if people don't abide to these requirements? Absolutely. We listen, I have a comfort. He knows how much I love parks. He knows our parks system in this county is the best in the state of New Jersey. But he also knows he has a serious problem here in New Jersey and that we're only at half time now. And he wants people just to enjoy, but you know, do do the right thing. Follow the rules, you know, and to protect yourself, but also to protect it might be a family member, it might be your neighbor, it might be a friend, it might be somebody you don't know. We don't want that person to get infected. Absolutely. Anything else you'd like to add, Joe? That's it. All right. I'm going to stop the recording. Thank you so much. Thank you.